Golden Wind was a huge part of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure with how involved it is into the main world. And while it does great, in my opinion, I always thought about how much Giorno has on his plate now. In the brackets of its story, it did everything that it needs to do, with its goal being Giorno becoming the boss and that actually happening. But now the idea is, well, now that you're the boss, what's next? That's basically the idea of this video. While Giorno is going to do everything that he wanted, there's a lot to execute and it's most likely not going to run like the traditional JoJo part. At least that's what I would think. But with a concept like this, we're not going for traditional. We're going for something new. So let's start with what we have for the story. Giorno Giovanna is now the boss of the mafia organization known as Passione. With that happening, there is a lot to deal with now that there's been a change of power. For example, an obvious one would be that there are many members defecting that were originally selling drugs because now they won't have anything to do for money. Which makes me think that there's going to be a lot of members defecting just for that alone. Now, with the members that had defected, those people could just go about trying to make their own group that still does sell drugs because it's a pretty large and profitable market in this world. And I mean, in JoJo, but in real life, I mean, I just, shit. So then Giorno would have to go about stopping the many people trying to sell to his people, and that's a couple of arcs on its own. Next, there's the other potential subdivisions that won't really have any purpose potentially like you know how there was the hitman team La squadra and diavolo's guards it wouldn't be too crazy to assume that there's other stand users in the group designated to kill or designated for something that are just lower than the one that we know and journal would be axing a lot of these unneeded groups in passione because like they themselves will not really be for the movement that he's going for so they'll leave or he'll just kick them out and that would destroy a lot of the foundation of the group but he'd be going about building it in his own way so while you do have a bunch of people that are now the potential enemies of Giorno you have a lot of potential unfortunate souls looking for guidance and Giorno could be that guiding light for all of them but before I get into the potential conflicts of that too, I want to cover the other stuff connected to Passione. So, you know the Mafia is meant to be this other power aside from the country because that there was a lot of uh, corrupt politicians and corrupt cops and all that, so that's how we even got into this group. Uh, well, bringing back the power change, a lot of people that feared the all-seeing eye that is Diavolo and the people on payroll, they, they could be just cut off entirely. Like, say that they don't see the money that they want to because drugs aren't being sold and they could just switch up entirely and try putting away Passione operatives just for the hell of it. Also, with Giorno most likely not assassinating any huge power anymore, uh, unless they sell drugs or something that's bad, it stirs up more conflict. I can see Giorno having a lot of talks with people uh, he doesn't want to send into an infinite death loop immediately, but seeing what he'd have to do to fix everything would be pretty interesting. I feel like there would be a lot of interrogation and torture because that's not outside of Jarno's reach. Plus, he can heal people, so he can go pretty far in torture in comparison to everyone else, I'd say. Now, that was a lot of Passione versus the world, but what about Passione versus the effect of Diavolo? For example, the people that took drugs originally and were continuous buyers. Since Giorno cut off the suppliers, Giorno would most likely have to go about the city a lot trying to heal a ridiculous amount of people, which is definitely possible. It's a huge thing he has to do. I just wonder if he'd have to do some type of Giorno hospital setup thing where he can help people directly or create specific organ nutrients or whatever he needs to help. If he has a freaking universal stand, he can do whatever the hell he wants. Uh, there's also a bunch of shop owners that need protection from gangs that aren't Passione and the potential drug dealing ex Passione group, which isn't difficult to Giorno. But the thing is, Passione isn't just Giorno. Plus, he can't be everywhere at once, but I'm saving that part of the conflict for later, so I'm not going to be going fully into that now. All right, so now that we've established what story we can have, let's go about our core characters. But before that, let's have a word from our sponsor for today's video, NordVPN. 
For a limited time, you can go to nordvpn.com slash A or use coupon KalebIA for a special holiday deal. You get the three-year plan with 81% off plus two amazing gifts, four extra months plus the NordPass password manager app. Now, there's not a lot I can say that hasn't been said about NordVPN. Their fast servers, thousands of servers in 61 plus countries, the compatibility with most operating systems like Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android, the double data encryption service, there's a lot of stuff. But I think what got me the most is that I am no longer bound to watching things legally with American servers only. I was testing this out myself and I can go about watching stuff like Crunchyroll, Netflix, and Hulu and do this all with Japanese servers so I have access to shows that I normally wouldn't have here. Which helps massively since I want to be able to support the industry as well as I can because they really do a lot for anime and that's a huge thing for me because I work in anime. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash A or use coupon A for that special holiday deal. Now on characters, first we have our new boss, Giorno Giovanna. His character developed great over the course of part 5, he became the gangstar that he always wanted to be, and his gangster front is no longer a front anymore. In this story, Giorno still has gold experience requiem. While GR helps him be invincible towards everyone, Giorno has to deal with the fact that he can't be everywhere at once. So, if there ever is a conflict where he has to send someone close to him out to go do something, they're most likely just going to have to go with some new subordinates and that's all he can do. Now there's a lot of workarounds to this because of how strong GR is, but it's about how he would go about that. He could give some life imbued stuff that can save people if mortally wounded, and while that can make the conflict easier, it heightens the suspense because if they do lose said thing, People can actually die there, and if there is a detector of some sorts, like the one that Giorno gave Bruno when he went to go fight Diablo, there is a race to see how fast Giorno can get to wherever his friend or the other subordinate is in need, wherever they are. Who knows how Giorno would get there? Can you, can you ride on GER? Would he be able to make some sort of powered giant bird and fly on it? Could he teleport? I don't know. I'm not riding this. I'm just the guy that's putting this on the table. If there was a time... Uh, Rocky was writing this he could probably do whatever he wants since the power of GR is one you could do the ridiculous amount with and since GR isn't limited by things like range he could probably send GR with people and if someone was to attack Giorno the revert to zero ability could still work with GR even being there but enough on that I can imagine what it'd be like to get new people into Giorno's main group. If you was to see any of them that had some sort of similarity to one of the original members that had died, I can imagine how he'd react to seeing them in potential danger or them actually dying. That's probably a ridiculously large weight to bear and I can see him saying, no I can't lose another one or something along those lines, you know. Finishing this off, I guess the only thing left that could be added aside from like thematic stuff and all that could be a potential love interest in Trist. I know a lot of people have been pointing at that. Like they could have a thing going on since it's part or whatever. It's going to be going a long while since there's a large time gap between part 5 and part 6. So who knows? Next we have Guido Mista. Since he's Giorno's right hand man, he most likely has to approve uh, and people on whether or not they can see Giorno, which means that he has to see a lot of problems that people are having and I can imagine that getting to him. Like imagine if he was to see someone that had this painful expression similar to Narancha when he had seen Abakio died. That could shake him up a strong bit. Plus, Jojo has already shown us that PTSD is definitely a thing in characters when you have a character like Jotaro, so I don't think it'd be that far off to think that stuff like this would affect Mista or even Jorno and Trish too, since they've experienced this all together. Uh, but along with that, I think Mista would play similarly, like the same role that he played before, just a more closer role, I'd say, because he's like kind of like the third guy, if anything, yeah, while Bruno is like the second or even first guy majority of the time so yeah just closer mista and all that uh adding on to that uh an off script idea is that uh we're also going to be seeing mista go about time itself like stuff's going to catch up with him like you have a good amount of years on him to happen until part six so mista could be feeling some type of existential stuff about like oh what am i doing uh i need to get some stuff together maybe i should have a family etc etc but yeah that's something to put on the table Next is Trish Una. Uh, I believe her position can really be anywhere. Uh, Trish can be the ear to the streets as to what's going on. 
she can be the one directly for the people while Giorno has that hidden boss effect type of thing. She can like literally not even try to be about that gangster life in general, that potentially be a thing, maybe she's tired of it. Uh, she can be in the same position as Mista and Mista can do other things. Uh, she can oversee a lot of out of country stuff. There's a lot she can do. Since Trish isn't bound to anything as a character, uh, there's just so much potential that she has. If I was going about this, I'd probably have her as an ear and a person for the people. Like, the one that everyone loves like that, because like that's like a thing that Bruno did. Uh, but I don't know if Jonah would be that much about it. Maybe Trish would be the more exuberant one doing so. Or maybe they take turns on the same thing, I don't know. Along with that, she is a core character, so she definitely would be able to oversee a lot of large things happening in the group and uh, large things for Passione entirely. Uh, I would also think that uh, after a while, the spot of boss could be th this sort of shared thing between both Jorno and Trish since she shares a lot of leadership traits too and that could be like a cool duality thing as in like, oh, like Diavolo was a bad guy but Trish is being the product of that guy but being a better person than he is, etc, etc. It's like, oh, the whole uh, devil and uh, god type thing that they have going on, whatever the shit, you know. Uh, like Jorno, uh, specifically like, saying like this thing did happen, Jorno oversees problems hands-on like the whole healing the addicts and all that type of stuff and still does think continuously while trish does a mix of uh, that having people in the country and other countries that are able to tell her about whatever the hell's going on there's just so much that the character can do and just so much that can actually happen with these core characters alone that there's just a lot to write now while i can give you an example of the story as to how i see the story and all the themes and stuff that i did want to add uh, there was just too much to mention in this video because that just to go into every potential theme or anything that we want to do That's kind of like my head thing too though. So, you know uh, I actually plan to just get that commissioned out so you all can see what I'm seeing because it's like it's in my head But like while I can try to be descriptive as possible uh, as to what I'm imagining I'd rather you just all see it the way that I planned Plus, it lets me make a follow-up video with also your guys' suggestions as to what could happen in that con uh, concept that I'm mocking up. Uh, this video went without a single mention of Fugo, and I know how much people would love to see that interaction again, so I'm leaving that for the potential future. You guys could talk about what you want to see, like, oh, but what, like, what would we put Fugo to do this and this? That, that'd be cool. Uh, thank you all for watching. Be sure to check up my... NordVPN link or coupon that you can use. Checking uh, stuff uh, like this or leaving comments, liking the video helps me directly so I can make videos like this even possible uh, and also can help me make stuff that I have planned in the future that I also think that you guys would really like. Uh, I really do want to go about making this little part 5.2 thing so I'll see what I can do about that. Uh, the more help the better everyone. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Uh, until then, rest in peace Juice World, peace out, and Godspeed.